Hey guys, it's uh, Ray's here. We've got another a tutorial coming at you. Two in one week, and hopefully now that I'm on the holidays, we'll be able to squeeze in even more. Um, today, I'm going to be going over how to get the base files. Uh, so if, if uh, there's ever a game update and your HUD breaks, then you can use this method to get the files that might be missing that could be causing the breakage or to compare them to your own HUD's files to find what's uh, missing. Or um, in the case of other people that are looking to get started with their own HUD, this is how you get the files to kind of, um, you know, get, get yourself started, you know, get your footing. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download a, a uh, program called GCFscape. And uh, in order to download GCFscape, um, it has a website, I don't know what it is again, so I'm just going to Google like the Notepad++ and you'll see right here it's, um, this first result should be perfectly fine. And um, you'll see uh, GCFscape version 1.8.5 full. Um, any of these versions would technically work, but this is the most recent one uh, from 2006, which is pretty old, but it works. So just go ahead and download that. There's an installer and an archive, uh, depending on which one you, you want to get. Um, but go ahead and download that, and I've already downloaded it, so once you have it downloaded, install it, open it up, whatever. And uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, I misspelled it. There we go. Uh, when you open it up, you should have a program window that looks kind of like this. And uh, it's a bunch of empty windows, and you're like, oh, well, what do I do now? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to select your game directory. So you're going to go to open, and um, it should bring up a file explorer like this. And what you need to do is you na need to navigate to your TF directory where you have TF2 installed. So um, ever since Steam Pipe, you'll go to your Steam folder, Steam apps, um, your common, and then Team Fortress 2, TF. And um, you'll see here you'll have your same files, but if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of VPKs that might not have been there before. Um, the only one you're really going to be interested in is going to be the MISC. And these are all parts of the MISC, so if it has a number after it, that's not what you want. You want to find the MISC DR, DIR for the, the miscellaneous directory. And you're going to open it up. And you'll see that once it's open, it will bring up something similar to what you're used to. You know, it'll have your config folder, your class folder, you know, scripts and resources, which you're used to seeing from other HUD stuff. But you'll see that when I open it up, it's completely filled up with a bunch of garbage. And uh, that's because this is all of the default HUD files from the most recent version, from your, your current install of Team Fortress 2. Um, so all of these files are the up-to-date default HUD files. So, you know, we're editing HUDs, we're not editing anything else, so the only thing you're really going to be interested in, uh, uh, right now anyways, um, are going to be scripts and resources. So you can select both of those if you hold uh, control and then click, and it'll highlight both of them here. And then from there you're going to want to right click and then click extract. And um, you can pretty much extract them anywhere. I'm just gonna, for the means of uh, simplicity and whatnot, I'll just go ahead and throw them in the base HUD folder because I already kind of have done this a little bit. Um, so if we go to our base HUD folder now, so I'll go to uh, desktop, um, we should have our base HUD. Uh, you'll see inside of our resource folder, all of these files were things that I just got. See, they match the uh, time down here. So I just extracted these, and same thing with the uh, scripts folder. Uh, so you just got these, these are all fresh files. And you'll see now that if I were to take both of these scripts and resources um, and um, navigate to my custom directory, uh, as if I were installing you know, a custom HUD. Uh, I don't need my HUD right now, so I'll go ahead and throw it in there. Uh, then we can call this, you know, whatever. We'll call it my HUD, my underscore HUD. And in there we'll paste our resources and scripts. And upon launching the game, you'll see we will have the default HUD. Um, so while this launches, to go ahead and kind of kill two birds with one stone, uh, someone ha asked recently, you know, I, I, okay, I've got the base HUD files. Do I need to delete them? Do I need to leave them all there? You know, every time I look at another custom HUD, there's hardly anything in the scripts folder. It's normally just one or two files. and. Um, the reason that is, is the way TF2 works is it reads everything out of your custom folder. So it's reading all of these files, and the reason it looks like you're on stock HUD, as if you didn't have a, a uh, HUD installed, is because you don't. Like, te technically, this is the custom default HUD. However, it's being read in through the, the uh, I guess, the custom way of, of reading files. So it, it's treating this default HUD as if it were a custom HUD. 
Um, but that doesn't mean all the files need to be here. Um, so let me go ahead and load into Map Badlands. I'll show you guys that this does in fact work, and this is how you get your start in the HUD editing business. Um, but uh, anyways, back to this explanation here while we're loading into the map. Um, essentially the way it works is uh, when there's a missing file in your, in your custom directory somewhere, that's just automatically replaced by the default file. So um, for a lot of these files here in our resources and UI, or, or resources and scripts rather, you're not ever going to use them and so it's perfectly fine to delete them because TF2 will just replace them with the default version anyways. So in the instance of scripts, for example, um, typically the only thing people leave are um, their, their HUD animations, which is right here in their HUD layout, and everything else can pretty much go away. So you'll see that upon, actually I'll just go ahead and do it the other way. Um, upon deleting everything except for these two, um, we'll load into the map here, do a HUD reload scheme, You'll see everything's still perfectly fine. You know, everything's working as it should be because it's just reading the default files. Um, so now that we have uh, our, our HUD layout in, though, I'll show you that you can, in fact, edit it. So we'll search for HUD weapon ammo, and you'll see it's right at the top. And by screwing with these X position, Y positions, uh, we'll just make this, like, uh, I don't know, 45. And we'll make this 30, 35. We'll do a HUD reload scheme. And you'll see the ammo move down. See, it's it, everything moves as it should. Um, and this is how you get started in HUD editing. So now you have your base template. Um, it's just simply like your canvas. From here, you can do whatever you want. Like you want to get rid of the background, you want to replace fonts, you want to create whatever, you're free to do that because you have all the files now. Anyways, um, I've already talked way longer than I was intending to. So hopefully I cleared things up and didn't make things more complicated. Um, and I'll go ahead and throw a download link to the uh, GCFscape in the uh, description of the video. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching, guys.